He was always the most dominant animal regardless of what tank you put him in or whoever you put him with. During this time frame of 2018 to early 2019, before the parasites would attack him severely, Wellsboro showed truly how aggressive and how dominant he was inside this enclosure. He reminded every American toad and gray tree frog that he was the alpha male. And it was something truly amazing because I'd never seen an American toad so dominant before. It was all short-lived though, because as the parasites would begin to attack him, he lost a tremendous amount of weight. He looked like he became lethargic, and he really looked like he was going to die. This was all happening around the same time that Ace was prolapsing, and she was also starting to die. However, these two American toads were very resilient. The first major problem was the parasites. I had no idea as a newer frog keeper that these parasites would be so pesky and they could actually cause these animals their lives. They were being attacked by pinworms and rhabdius nematodes. These are two parasites that my animals continue to fight to this day, but we've gotten them under control because we found a vet in Pittsburgh out of a last second resort to save Ace, who was in the previous episode about to be put down. The doctor in Pittsburgh saved her life and also impacted the lives of all of these animals, giving us the ivermectin and all of the other dewormers to begin the process of quarantine and helping to get these animals back on track to a healthy lifestyle. Not only did she help us with the dewormer, but she also pointed us in the right direction. Instead of the dusting that wasn't effective, we were moving into the gut loading, which then started to put on the weight, and after Wellsboro especially was able to regain weight, and he was put into a new enclosure with a younger female named Navi, Wellsboro seemed like he really came into his own. Not only was he very happy and always trying to amplex Navi, but he was eating more and he just looked like that wild specimen that he once was. And that's when I knew it was time for him to go back and rejoin Ace into a massive enclosure. These two American toads have been in an arms race for a very long time. They're the two most accomplished American toads that I've ever kept and possibly most accomplished pets ever. Ace has been in the news and also three newspaper articles, and Wellsboro has become the logo for the Frog and Toad Facebook group, which has over 10,000 members. So both of these guys have been very accomplished. And as you can see, Wellsboro and Ace have always been competing. And it was time to reintroduce them to each other and renew this rivalry that was so great, but also so exciting. Oh man. She's like, who are you? Do you remember him, Ace? After five years, one of the most exciting rivalries is set to return to this YouTube channel, and I can't wait to showcase Ace vs. Wellsboro in a 242-gallon Pennsylvania-themed enclosure. Please like and subscribe and share this for more content. I can't wait to share the next one with you. We'll see ya.